All right, this is the setup. Basically, uh, I have a old scooter motor down here. And if you look down close in there, you can see I used a piece of aluminum can as a shim to hold this on because it's a little loose. And this is a fan blade from a oscillating fan that my tech teacher gave me. Took it apart. The thermal fuse on the motor that came with it had tripped, so the motor's trash. And so I... I took off the blade and it happened to fit on this shaft, which I'm quite lucky. So I'm, uh, I have a power strip down there that I'm just gonna turn on. And the, the power supply I'm using has trouble starting sometimes, so you need to give it a little push and it's off. Also, it does take a little bit for it to for it to warm up St that is still really cold it's it's really cold out here so i'll be back when it has been going a little faster but well in the meantime uh i after before i start or stop filming uh this this is still going pretty fast for how much voltage is being supplied I've just jerry-rigged the connection here. I'm pretty sure it's about like 12 or, or 9, 12 to 9 volts. But this motor was designed to run on what, 24, so it's not getting enough power that it needs, but it still runs perfectly fine, so I'll be back. All right. Uh, so as a cutscene right here, I've, I've just started filming because the fan is now, or the speed of the fan is now matching the buzzing of the lights. So it looks like it's, or almost looks like it's not moving. If you know what I'm, or anti-aliasing is, or the wagon wheel effect is what that's called. Because the flickering of the lights is matching each time one of the blade goes, or one of the blades go around. Which is making it look like there's only one. But now that's almost up to speed, uh, I wanted to do some stuff. Like I have some stuff here that I, because <laughs> it's a fan, so. I don't get to I don't get to do this much often, but I just have like a, a little Lego propeller I made here. It's attached to a motor. It's not doing anything though. So if I start that, then you can see I can't do this single-handedly. Let me try to do something over here. <laughs> that didn't work a bit. That was the wrong direction. There we go. You can see now that's getting up to speed. And this, or the, the place I hold it also makes it go faster or slower. There's a distance away from the fan. Also the tilts. There's a lot of variables here. But yeah. And as another simple experiment, I have a piece of paper here. I'm just gonna... Phew. Now, where did that go? Oh, over there. Oh, a piece of insulation fell. <sighs> That's probably not good. <laughs> Yeah, now that that's happened, that's probably not such a good idea to do this. There's some blowing around right there. Yeah, but... Also, I don't know if you guys ever done this in your childhood, but listen to this. Hello, my name is Calvin Mayo. Do I sound like a robot? <laughs> Fun, right? <laughs> but anyway, uh, I guess I'll end the video right about here. As a recap, or a, a sit, sit rep, uh, 
This is a fan blade from an old oscillating fan that I took apart. This motor down here is from an old electric scooter. It's supposed to run on 24 volts. And this is a power supply I got from an old laptop. And so, on the video, so thanks for watching.